Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Leo. So Leo, we're just going to jump right into your reading. I hope you've been having a blessed new year. I hope you're having a blessed full moon cycle. We had the full moon yes, yes, last night, yesterday, so I hope it's a blessed cycle for you with a lot of beautiful manifestations. Please bless the cutting of these cards in this reading spirit. We trust you in all things and all ways. I prayed also before the beginning of the reading to save time. All right, go right ahead, Leos. So bottom of the deck card, we got four of wands. So this is success. This is a milestone. You're going to win in the end. Some kind of blessed of abundant success or milestone is happening for you. You could be leaving and showing also to go towards this. And it could be you going to a new home, buying a new home, just going after something that's missing in your life. After a time of struggle and losing, looks like you're going after what's missing now. And it's going to be a blessed, abundant success for you. Next card, Hangman. So this is Major Arcana, and this is all about taking a spiritual time out to give back to yourself, to remember your spiritual connection and your higher self and your guardian angels and your ancestors. So just reconnect today as soon as you can because this is energy that will be with you for quite some time. It's Major Arcana, so take this time out seriously and don't try to do anything too major you know, like maybe purchasing a house or something like that, unless it's already been in the works. But this is all about giving back to yourself time. And once you come off this time out, then you'll be ready to do major things. But for now, give back to yourself and get some solitude, maybe some meditation, some meditational walks, meditational baths, that sort of thing. Wow, the devil. So we got the devil card, and this is doing something to an extreme or being around someone with toxic energy and causing problems for you, or you're tied to the devil in some sense. So just be mindful of devilish energy around you or taking things to an extreme. And, you know, you're on a spiritual timeout, so you should be able to see what you need to about that devil. Next card, we got the Seven of Cups. So this is all about choosing wisely, and you already got the Eight of Cups. So... You know, you're going after what's missing. Just make sure you choose something of substance, something of worth, something of value, something worth your time and your energy as opposed to something trivial, okay? Like this devil situation and, you know, you got the uh, seven of cups and this has a gargoyle, it has a snake. So choose wisely for yourself. Wow, we got the cup of love. So either you're giving this cup of love to someone or someone's offering it to you. And this could be new romance opportunity, new friendship, you know, could be someone that wants to take you out and show you how special they feel you are to them and take you out on the night of town or have a lunch or a dinner date, something like that. But all in all, all for a romance coming towards you. The shyster. Okay, so that makes sense with the devil card. You're dealing with someone with toxic energy, someone sneaking around, someone lying, not being above board, someone doing something they have no business doing. And when these come up, you really want to watch your P's and Q's as far as who's around you, what they're doing. It might not even be around you. It could be around a family member, you know, a friend or something like that. And they're dealing with that energy. But since you're such a good friend, you're helping them out in the situation. But all in all, watch out for this shyster because he's sneaky and could be cheating, could be doing all kinds of things. So just be mindful, okay? Next card, King of Pentacles. So this could be you. This is uh, a earth energy, but you see all that sunshine abundance, just like Leo, the sunshine. And so, you know, this could be you and you could be going towards a new opportunity as the King of Pentacles for a milestone in your life because something's missing, but you're going after what's missing, or this could be someone helping you in a situation to take you to the success, but all in all, two blessed abundant cards of Sunshine Divine. Next card, you're leaving. So not only are you getting out of Dodge here, 
but the six of swords, you're getting out of Dodge here to go after what's missing with the eight of cups. So you will be leaving and it could be after this shyster, shysterville uh, situation, you're getting out of Dodge and it's just time for you because you got better things to deal with and it's showing it right here. Milestones in your life. Next card. Wow, the magician. So you're a master magician. You can manifest and bring to you exactly what you want. You're very powerful. And it looks like that's what you're going to be doing, bringing some kind of new success to you. Looks like it could be a new home, marriage, something to, to something great and something you'll never forget. But all in all, you got that glow. You're powerful. You got that glow. Rhythm of elevation. So you got the power to bring to you and to manifest exactly what you want. I'm so happy for you. Looks like that's exactly what you're going to do. All right. Next card, Leo's, the high priestess. So I know this is you. You're very connected spiritually. You could be meeting the high priestess, but I feel this is you. Very connected, very protected. You know, using your spiritual spidey sense in situations where you're dealing with a devil and a shyster and... It calls for that at times because this one isn't trustworthy. So you have to, you know, go within and see what you need to see using your discernment, using your spiritual intuition. And I feel like that's exactly what you're going to do. Okay. Even in choosing wisely for yourself, I feel you will choose wisely for yourself. Next card is the lover. So you could be meeting someone, falling in love, and that could lead to, you know, it doesn't have to be marriage it could be maybe family but i feel like this is a perfect match and it could lead to a new home together someone that you're building a new life together and it's showing you have the magic to manifest it right to you and you're very spiritually connected next card holy smokes you me in a perfect match so either this is you <laughs> Marrying your divine masculine and divine feminine, feeling whole and complete, or you're going to meet someone that makes you feel like you guys complete each other. You might be whole and complete in your life, but coming together makes everything fit perfectly. This is your perfect match, and you can't go higher spiritually than the higher thing. You can't go higher spiritually than the high priestess, and you guys are meant to be. So looks like that's the magic that's coming in. And it looks like that's the we did it. <laughs> Just coming together with the one you're supposed to be with. So I'm so happy for you. Go right ahead, Leos. And this is at the time of, you know, not being able to sleep. So many things on your mind. Dealing with shysterous people, devilish, toxic energy. And you're going to break free from all of it. You're leaving. And you're going after what is missing in your life. And that looks like betterment. That looks like true magic of manifesting that looks like true love coming towards you and it looks like true abundance an offer of love and it looks like this is the offer of love coming towards you if you're not going to the next stage in your life with someone then you're meeting for the first time and you're gonna say we did it <laughs> you're gonna win in the end go right ahead leos i'm so happy for you on this next cycle you got the magic, you got the power, you got everything you need to create the life you want. So get ready. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.